You want to know something absolutely crazy? This is what I sound like. Also, I'm going to be talking about a Spongebob Flash game. Yes, I am completely serious. Spongebob Squarepants Patty Panic is a Flash game published and possibly also developed by Nickelodeon in 2007. As with most other Flash games, it's an incredibly simple game, not too often well polished, and it looks absolutely disgusting when blown into a higher resolution than the tiny square it was originally intended for. The gameplay is a lot like this old arcade game called Burger Time, but with Spongebob. It has Spongebob in it. Which immediately makes it better in every conceivable way. For the 99% of you who don't know what a Burger Time is, the goal is to assemble all the Krabby Patties. You do this by stepping on the ingredients, sending them down to a lower platform. At the bottom of every row, there's a tray that collects the pieces that fall down there. Once all the patties have been assembled in the tray, you move on to the next level. You do this all while avoiding these bootleg-looking plankton guys crawling around all over the stage. When you touch them, you lose a life, and when you run out of lives, your game is over. Pretty standard affair, really. If you manage to squish a plankton under a patty piece, you get some bonus points, and the guy you hit will respawn on either side of the screen after a second or two. If you find yourself overwhelmed or surrounded, you can use a bottle of mustard to make a cloud that stuns the planktons temporarily. The ammunition is limited, but new bottles appear at the center of the stage every once in a while, alongside the golden spatula which simply defeats all enemies on screen when collected. So to play effectively and rack up the highest score, you have to manage your ammunition, use the burger pieces correctly to squash all the planktons for maximum points, and always collect the golden spatula for a nice point bonus whenever it appears. This simple loop repeats until you run out of lives. The game cycles through the same 9 stages again and again, with an increasing amount of enemies that gradually get faster the more levels you complete. And that's pretty much it for the main game. The other buttons on the main menu are nothing much. One takes you to a story slash tutorial screen, which explains the story and controls. Apparently the weird looking plankton dudes weren't bootlegs, but robots. And the game takes place in Spongebob's dreams. Thanks, Nickelodeon. After the control screen, you're just thrown into the main game again. The last button on the main menu is the high score button, and it, it does this. It's pretty impressive, all right. Thanks, Spongebob. The high score screen probably worked at some point, but since the last player is dead in all official capacity, so is the high score board for this Spongebob game. And there we have it, that's all the game has to offer. It's fairly simple, the controls work well enough for the most part, and it's kind of fun. I really like it. But, but now, now it's time for the fun stuff, the reason I made this video in the first place. The weird features, the bugs, the glitches, the weird images that are still in the game's data for some reason. I found this thing, where if you send a patty piece down while a plankton touches it, the piece goes down two levels instead of one for some reason, and the plankton you defeat also respawns faster. This doesn't happen if you hit the plankton from above like you normally would. After spending a few hours decompiling the game and looking through its code, I found out that apparently this behavior is intended, since there is two different code paths taken depending on how the plankton is defeated. This might have been a mechanic in the original Burger Time, but I can't confirm since I haven't played Burger Time myself and also I'm too lazy to find gameplay. The reason I wanted to look at the game's code in the first place was because of a bug I found while playing. I somehow got the game into a state where all the parry pieces wouldn't drop after stepping on them, but will still have an active hitbox capable of defeating enemies. I tried my hardest to replicate it or find out why it happened in the first place, but I couldn't find anything. Let me tell you this though, the game's code absolutely sucks, there are 2000 lines just dedicated to figuring out what direction for the AI to go in. It's, it's just, just, it is just not good. While looking through the game files, I also found some interesting stuff that probably got left in there by accident. First off, there's this orange looking thing. This looks like Spongebob and was probably definitely used as a placeholder sprite before the final artwork was in place. The sprite is still referenced by Spongebob's animation controller, which is proof enough. There are also these weird screenshots of the game itself. On some of these, it's fairly easy to see they were taken earlier in development, as the patty pieces are floating and this plankton guy is climbing on nothing. 
Also, this text over here says round instead of level, like in the final game. These ones are cool, since you can see the devs were still using Windows XP or even Windows 98. There's even a screenshot from what I can only assume is their development software. Lastly, there are some level mockups. These show the more or less finished level layout without the objects like patty pieces or enemies laid out. These files are really interesting to take a look at, but I have to wonder how they ended up in the game files to begin with. You would usually keep this stuff in a separate folder away from the game assets themselves. Alright, here's a small bullet round of details that no one except me are ever going to care about. All the graphics for the patty pieces are stored as JPEGs, except for the lettuce, which is stored as a PNG. The variable that counts how many planktons are on stage at once is called bat count. I'm pretty sure almost half of the game's code is just taken up by enemies deciding what direction to go in. The character sprites for Spongebob and the different planktons are all made with vector graphics, while everything else in the game is made with pixel graphics. If you press the down button while walking, then stop walking, then shoot mustard and keep holding down, Spongebob does this. The song that plays on the main menu is a two second loop. Alright, and I have officially run out of interesting things to say about this dumb Spongebob Flash game. I have never done this kind of content before, but I wanted to try something new and thought, hey, this weird Flash game looks cool, and I actually have something to talk about in regards to it. Um, if you for some reason like this, let me know, and I might take a look at some other Flash games some other time. And this is where the outro is supposed to go. Don't leave this in the video.